solve one problem on heat transfer from composite slab by using electrical analogy method when the slabs are in series we will read the given question a cold storage room has walls made of 0.23 meter thick layer of brick with k 0.98 watt per meter kelvin on the outside adjacent to it is 0.08 meter thick layer of plastic foam with k 0.2 and finally 1.5 cm thick layer of wood with k 0.17 on the inside the outside convection heat transfer coefficient 12 watt per meter square kelvin and temperature 22 degree celsius in the same way inside convection heat transfer coefficient 29 watt per meter square kelvin and temperature minus 2 degree celsius determine first the rate of heat removal by refrigeration if the total wall area is 90 meter square second temperature of inner and outer surface of the wall let us construct the diagram as per given data if we observe the question here different materials are arranged one after the other that means this is the case for the slabs in series we are going to solve this problem by electrical analogy method now if we observe the data then outside material is brick so we are moving from outside material towards inside material from left hand side to the right hand side so first we will construct here the outside material brick with 0.23 meter thickness and conductivity k is given 0.98 watt per meter kelvin so we will show here this is the brick now for this brick we will use here this thickness so i will use b1 is equal to 0.23 meter so i will say here b1 and conductivity i will use here k1 then next material is plastic foam so i will mention here after the brick there is the second section for for the plastic foam and its a thickness is 0.08 meter so i will use here suffix 2 that is b2 is equal to 0.08 meter with conductivity k2 0.2 watt per meter kelvin now next material that is inside material is wood so next section that is for wood with thickness 1.5 cm so remember here the thickness is given in centimeter so we have to convert it into meter so i will use here the suffix 3 that is b3 is equal to 1.5 cm with conductivity k3 that is 0.17 watt per meter kelvin now if we observe this is the outside material and here is the inside material so i will mention here so this is outside and here is inside now this outside material is in contact with fluid and its a specification are given outside convection heat transfer coefficient so this fluid is having some heat transfer coefficient so this heat transfer coefficient i will say h1 and this h1 is 12 watt per meter square kelvin and temperature is also given so i will say t1 and temperature t1 is equal to 22 degree celsius and h1 is equal to 12 watt per meter square kelvin now in the same way inside material is also in contact with fluid which is having convection heat transfer coefficient 29 watt per meter square kelvin so i will say here h2 is equal to 29 watt per meter square kelvin and temperature is given so t2 is equal to minus 2 degree celsius so this is the diagram as per given data now one important point is that we have to consider one particular direction for
for the heat flow. So we will decide here or we will consider here the direction of heat flow from this outside wall towards the inside wall. That means I will show here the direction of heat flow that is this Q is in this direction. So why it is important to decide the direction? So I will tell you later while solving the problem. So this is so much important for the calculation part. So we have to decide the direction and we have to mention in the answer also that is we will consider the direction of heat flow from outside wall to the inside wall or we can say this outside fluid to the, towards the inside fluid. Now there is the question that is we have to find out what is the temperature of this outside wall. So temperature of this outside wall we will consider T to the base O. And we have to also find out temperature of the inside wall that is we will consider here Ti. This is the question that we have to find out and we have to also find out the heat transfer or we can say we have to find out Q. Now we will develop the electrical analogous circuit. So how to develop? So we have to show here different resistance that is taking place during the heat transfer process. And we have to also show the temperature difference. Now here heat transfer process is taking place from this fluid so here heat transfer is taking place by the convection process because here is the fluid. So I will show here uh, this T1 inside this and here this T2 because this is the fluid in this way. So from this fluid there is the convection process. So heat transfer is taking place during convection and some resistance is there. So the resistance created during this convection process I will say R1. So we have to show in electrical analogous circuit R1. So we will develop here the temperature difference. So temperature difference is in between T1 22 degree Celsius to T2 minus 2 degree Celsius. So this is the initial temperature and here is the final temperature. And in between them heat transfer process is taking place by convection also and conduction also. So we will take here the temperature difference T1 minus T2. So here I will show T1 minus T2. Now we will show here first resistance. Now the heat transfer is taking place one after other. That means here the resistance are in series. So we have to show here R1. Now if we observe after R1 here is the TO that is the temperature of this outside wall. So we will show here this is the TO. Now again there is the conduction process in brick that is taking place. So during conduction there is also resistance. So resistance for the conduction process in this brick material we will say R2. So I will show here R2. Then again there is next material plastic foam. So here is also some resistance offered for the conduction. So here the resistance by this plastic foam I will show here with R3. Then again there is the material wood. So again there is the resistance offered by this conduction process by the wood that is R4. Now after R4 there is the temperature of the inside wall that is Ti. So we will show here this temperature is Ti. Then again there is the resistance by this convection process by the fluid. So this resistance by the convection process I will say alpha and we have to show here alpha. Now if we observe there are resistance R1 and R5 during the convection process and R2, R3 and R4 during the conduction process. Now we will move for the calculation part. We will calculate the resistance R1. So this resistance R1 is due to the convection process. So how to calculate this R1 is equal to 1 divided by this H1A. Now area of wall is also given and that is equal to 90 meter square. So we will take here 1 divided by H1 
one that is twelve multiplied by ninety, which is equal to nine point twenty five into ten raise to minus four kelvin per watt. So it's a unit for R one is K by W that is kelvin per watt. Now resistance to conduction through brick that is R two. So R two is equal to so for conduction we will take formula B one divided by K one. A so area is common so we will use here A so zero point twenty three divided by zero point ninety eight into ninety so which is equal to zero point twenty six into ten raised to minus four kelvin per watt resistance to conduction through plastic so it is R three R three is equal to B two divided by K two A zero point zero eight divided by zero point two into ninety which is equal to zero point forty four into ten raised to minus four kelvin per watt Resistance to conduction through wood. That is here R four. That is equal to B three divided by K three A. Now here one point five centimeter is given. So we will convert it into meter. One point five into ten raised to minus two divided by zero point seventeen into ninety, which is equal to nine point eight into ten raised to minus four kelvin per watt. Now next is resistance R five. That is due to convection process. So R five is equal to one divided by H two A. So one divided by twenty nine into ninety, which is equal to three point eight into ten raised to minus four kelvin per watt. Now if we observe all these resistances from R one to R five are in series. So how to uh, take the summation of these resistances when the resistances are in series? Then we have to just add this. That is R one plus R two. Plus R three plus R four plus R five. So when we take summation, then summation of R is equal to twenty three point fifty five into ten raised to minus four kelvin per watt. We will move for the calculation part. We will find out how the value of Q, that is the heat transfer, is taking place for this whole system. So Q is equal to delta T by summation of R. So summation of R that we have already calculated. Now how to take this delta T? That is the temperature difference. So initial temperature is T1 and here final temperature is T2. And in between these two temperature, the whole heat transfer process is taking place by convection as well as conduction. Now if we observe to take The temperature difference, the direction of heat flow that we have considered is so much important. So here, the heat flow or direction of heat flow from the left hand side towards the right hand side. That is from this outside towards this inside. So this for outside wall, this fluid is in contact. Which is having temperature T one twenty two degree Celsius. So we will consider here. This is the initial temperature. And then, after the heat transfer process is taking place, then the fluid in contact with this inside wall, that is the final temperature, that is T two is equal to minus two degrees Celsius. So this is important point. And now we will consider here T one minus T two, because our direction of heat flow that we have considered from left hand side towards the right hand side. Or we can say from outside to the inside. So we will take T one minus T two. That is twenty two minus minus two. That means it will become twenty two plus two. That is twenty four. And divided by summation of R twenty three point five five into ten raised to minus four. So when we calculate this, so twenty four divided by twenty three point five five. That is one point zero one nine one. And this ten raised to minus four. If I transfer to the numerator, then it will become ten raised to four. So Q is equal to one point zero one nine one into ten raised to four watt. So this is the answer of first question. Now we will move for the next question that is temperature of inside surface of wall. So here is the inside surface of wall, and we have to find out this T I. So heat transfer. Is taking place in between this inside wall, which is having temperature T I, and this fluid, which is having temperature T two, that is minus two degree Celsius. So how to calculate this? So again, we will take the formula for the heat transfer, that is Q. So again, delta T by summation of R. But here, the heat transfer process, that is the temperature. 
major difference in between T i and T two. And R, that is the resistance involved, is by the convection, that is R five. So we have to take T i minus T two. Now why T i minus T two? Because the heat transfer is from left hand side towards the right hand side. So first temperature is T i. So T i minus T two divided by R five. And we have to take this Q, that is the value of Q that we have already calculated. One point. Zero one nine one into ten raised to four. So we can uh, write here one zero one nine one. T i minus minus two. That means it will become T i plus two divided by R five three point eighty three into ten raised to minus four. So if I transfer this term to the left hand side, then we have to calculate this. So one zero one nine one into three point eighty three into ten raised to minus four. So here is the answer three point nine zero three one five. Which is equal to T I plus two. So T I is equal to one point nine degrees Celsius. So this is the answer of second question. Now we will move for the third question. Temperature of outside surface of wall. So here is the outside surface and temperature is T O. So again we have to take the temperature difference and here for this outside wall, the fluid is in contact and for this fluid, what is the resistance? That is R one. Now again, it is important which temperature that we have to take first. So uh, heat transfer from left hand side towards the right hand side. So here T one is first temperature. So T one minus T O that we have to take T one minus T O divided by resistance R one. So in the same way we will put all the values. One zero one nine one is equal to twenty two minus T O divided by R one. That is nine point. 259 into 10 raised to minus 4. So when we calculate this, we will get T O is equal to 12.56 degree Celsius. And this is the answer of third question.